everyone, if you're just tuning in, I'm Nina Bosky and this is Life Bites Live. A few months ago, I had the pleasure of attending the wonderful Gate 2 event at the Saban Theater, where someone who is the manifestation of an empowered woman and completely hilarious too performed. She's not only one of the most talented actors, stand-up comedians, radio and television hosts around, but she's also a three-time cancer survivor. What an inspiration, Suzanne Wong. Welcome to Life Bites Live. Thank you, Nina. It's great to be here. <laughs> You know, you do use humor, you know, especially with your energy. You have such a light and a brightness about you. How does that, how do you keep that going in the midst of everything? Um, I think that humor, I, I come from a lineage. Uh, my paternal grandfather was a famous Korean minister who uh, traveled the world and preached, and he was famous for using humor in his sermons. And that was very controversial because some people in Korean church were like, church no funny. But he said, only way get people stay awake every Sunday. Right? And so he his ministry and his practice was about using humor in his message and I believe that laughter breaks down people's defenses and it levels the playing field and it helps you sneak your message in. You know sometimes if you're on a soapbox and you're like yelling yeah. at people, people's defenses can go up and be like don't tell me what to do. But if you're making them laugh, Reverend Michael Beckwith who you've had as a guest, he said um, when we are laughing, we are in the present moment. It's not possible to be laughing and be stuck in the past or worried about the future. You are in the now, and what's more important than being in the present moment? So I'm a big believer in laughter. So let's get a little bit deeper here. You know, you are not only a cancer survivor, but you are a three-time cancer survivor. How has that changed your life? Well, I don't even like the word survivor as much as thriver, because like survivor that. makes it feel like you're just hanging on by a thread, but I'm a thriver. So I like that. I've had breast cancer three times in the last five years because I like to say, like most Asians, I am an overachiever. <laughs> so one time wasn't enough. Let's do it two more times, too. Um, I It got diagnosed as uh, stage four about a year ago, but basically what happened was this. In 2006, I felt a lump. I was doing a self breast exam, and I felt a small lump in my left breast. And um, when the doctor called me to say it, the test came back positive for breast cancer, I said, wow, this is going to be great material for my stand-up comedy act someday. And she said, what? And I said, oh, come on, tragedy plus time equals comedy, so this is going to kill. And she said, um, you need to get here and uh, you know, meet with a surgeon. So. I got a lumpectomy and um, I named my tumor Igor and I sent out a birth announcement saying I had given birth to Igor via C-section. Yay! Because <laughs> I'm always being told, you should have a baby. I'm like, I did. His name is Igor. Look, isn't he cute? And um, then I researched radiation and chemo, decided not to do those things and switched to alternative and holistic stuff. And that didn't work. So I ended up having this grapefruit-sized tumor sticking out of my chest. And um, I looked like that woman from Total Recall who had three tits. Do you remember her? <laughs> it's like a science fiction project. Anyway, um, then I had that removed, and it got infected. And then there was this crater. And um, I used this amazing technology called ECM extracellular matrix powder to regrow part of my left breast and it worked it's made of pig bladders wow. and it can regrow human wow. tissue and skin and pretty amazing um, but the main thing that I, I've realized through this whole process and now by the way I have had back surgery hip replacement surgery radiation chemo <clears throat> but I've switched to now I meditate I do acupuncture I eat an organic vegetarian diet I drink you know purified alkaline water and I I laugh a lot and the main thing I've learned is about slowing down asking for help receiving help throwing all my pride and ego out the window and getting really humble and I found out that everyone that I thought was my friend was I mean who gets to find that out they were telling me that I had gypped them out of half of a friendship that um, I was always there I was always the superwoman healer rescuer fixer teacher helper savior and um, this really um, Make, made me sort of uh, pay attention. It was sort of like the universe was knocking at my door going, excuse me, you need to learn to slow down and take care of yourself and ask for and receive help. And I'm like, no, thank you, I'm busy. And then they're like, how about stage four? Bam, you can't move from your bed to the bathroom. What are you gonna do now? 
And, and I was going to yeah. say, that's a big one for women. It is. It was a big one for me yesterday. <laughs> but that is a big one. I mean, asking for help instead of being superwoman. And we're talking yes. about woman power, but woman power is part of asking for help as well. Um, to anybody who is dealing with cancer, I would say, if I can reverse, I'm basically in partial remission. I'm almost done. My test results are showing that my back and my spine, you know, it had spread everywhere. And I'm almost done. So if that's possible for me, anybody with any kind of cancer, don't let any doctor tell you how long you have to live. It should be illegal for a doctor to tell you exactly long, how long you have to live. It depends on my mind, my body, and my spirit. So anything is possible. I plan to outlive every oncologist who told me I would be dead by now. And I want to thank you so much for being on the show today Absolutely. and spreading some of your light and love to the world because reminding us also that humor and laughing is so critical regardless of what's going on in our lives. I think so. my sitcom is going to be called One and a Half Tits. What do you think? <laughs> One and a Half Tits. You heard it here on Life Bites Live. Suzanne Wong, you truly are an empowered woman. Thank you so much.